Alright guys, uh, in this video I'll discuss about Bank Nifty. Now you can see this is Bank Nifty and a 15 minute chart. In 15 minute chart, Bank Nifty is running in a downtrend. So we are using two indicator. One is moving average, another price action method. So we are confirming trend by using two method only. Ah, all right. And now you can see according to the moving average crossover, I'm talking about 15 minutes right now. According to the moving average crossover, we have seen in this area 50 moving average, which is red. Here you can see a red one. Cross 150 moving average. This one. So in this area, we have seen 50 moving average cross 150 moving average right now. 50 moving average running below 150 moving average so it is confirming trend is down in a small time frame i'm not talking about uh, like uh, daily and forward right and according to the price action method we have seen price is creating new lower low lower high lower low and the lower high and the lower low lower high here we have seen uh, 200 breakout point in this area and price create new low and reverse back toward this 200 and now continue toward the toward downside all right but if you wanna see in a large time frame price is running in a uptrend let me show you in a daily so in a daily chart we have seen uh price is running in a uptrend now price are giving a retracement so you can say price consolidation right so that means when price push toward higher again retrace create a new high and retrace again create a new high retrace again create a new high retrace create a new high and again retracing so in that case we must find out some supporting level so my trading strategy when price is running in an uptrend so i'm taking only buy remember i'm looking for all time frame like daily it should be uptrend or downtrend h4 it should be uptrend or downtrend and 15 minutes for my entry and exit i'm looking for up or down i'm not looking for like a daily and four hour it's just showing uptrend and 15 minutes it's just showing downtrend i'm not looking for that type of chart right now it's happening here daily and the four hour we have seen prices running in an uptrend but 15 minutes it's a downtrend right if in catch uh, in case it happen so we are looking for some supporting line in 15 minutes so let me show you <clears throat> in a daily so daily where is the supporting line uh, we have seen previous some higher point somewhere here right moving errors are somewhere here so in that case and i use four hour chart now i can see according to the four hour chart we have seen price are uh, just retracing from this area after dropping like a 21,000 something like that so price are retracing so in that case we have seen some supporting line so here around 30 1050 all right so we have seen some support are there all right so uh here you can see uh, most of the people are thinking here almost a 500 point why we uh we are missing this opportunity right if you want to see according to uh, previous market behavior how it should look like that so let me uh, zoom a little more here then it will visualize more so let me show you when price retrace so you can see large bearish candle have you seen and after that doji pattern so and next they break this doji and they create a bullish candle and price gone up similarly same pattern form in this area have you seen same pattern all right let me let me draw properly so here we have seen this is a pattern you can say morning star some people are using right same pattern are forming in this area one bearish candle after that uh, doji pattern or very indecision candle and after that bullish candle so similar uh, same 
and the same in this area we have seen here bearish candle doji pattern and bullish candle same all right we have seen bearish candle doji pattern and bullish candle right so here we have seen almost a similar pattern right first bearish candle after that doji or indecision candle and they are creating a little more low in this area so it is a probably to create like that and again they will create like a bullish candle if it happen so who people are start selling so they're gonna be lost so that means if you wanna going to if you wanna enter for the sell direction that means you are going against the trend uh, it is called counter trader right so counter trading is a most risk uh, trading right so I am not interested in this case so I'm looking for buy in this area I'm not greedy right because I don't want to catch every pips 500 more point is nothing for me or in this market 500 point is nothing because they are running almost um, uh, more than thousand point in this market all right so we can't we need high probability trade all right so if price drop down in this area i'm looking for buy according to my trading strategy in 15 minutes all right if price forming any bull signal in this area so i'll start buying above this area so that is my trading strategy all right so let me show you in a small time frame like uh, 15 minutes so yesterday we are looking for buy in this area i think you remember right i drawn a trend line uh, by connecting uh, you can say like that a resistance line and we are looking for buy above this area but fail to break this level and price continue toward downside but i'm not interested to take any sell position because h4 and daily both are running uptrend right now you can see 15 minute uh you can see m15 15 minute time frame it's running in a downtime uh downtrend right so i'm looking for all time pen should be clearly indicating uptrend or downtrend all right we are looking for right now for the buy 15 minute time frame should be confirming uptrend so then i will start buying all right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching